Hey folks, Tagniverse here. Today, as you can see, I have two versions of Kira open, and we are going to jump back and forth and check them out. They recently released the beta for version 4.11 or 4.11, and with that, they've revamped over 100 icons in the user interface. So we're going to go through, we're going to take a look at a few of them, we'll compare and contrast. I think overall the improvements are good. There are a few that I'm not that fond of, but we'll take a look and see what's going on right now on the Tagniverse channel. Hey folks, Technoverse here. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, but stick around because today we're going to be talking about some pretty interesting stuff I don't think you're going to want to miss. Alright folks, so here we are. I have loaded up the same model on both versions. This is 4.10 on the right, this is 4.11 on the left. And As you can see, some of these icons are a little bit different right off the bat. So let's take a look at the model manipulation icons first. Uh, you'll notice that the move button, as well as all the buttons below it, now have alternative designs. This is going to be the common theme, and this is basically what we're looking at today. Not just these, but they are all over. You'll notice differences. So, um, One of the first things I wanted to point out is the translate button now looks like it's for moving. So that's nice. Um, you can see over here it is just the item with an arrow in it here. It is the four-way transitional arrows that you can tell that's exactly what that's for. Uh, I feel like the scale button is also a little more intuitive. This is the new button. It is a small square with an arrow going into a bigger square as opposed to this, which to me always made me think that you were printing in two colors just, just from looks, which is uh, fair, I guess. Um, rotate. The rotate button did not look bad. It matched pretty well with the other old buttons, but I think this one is... A little bit more intuitive as well seeing as how we know we're manipulating the model we don't really need a miniature picture of the model in each icon um, it was a nice theme and they went well together but I think this is working out a little bit better um, next you have the mirror button which is I think a little bit better in describing what it does than the other one um, that looks like you're cutting a solid object in half to me this looks like you're mirroring an object so I like that this is one of the ones that I'm not a big fan of. I don't think um, there's really much else you could do with this. I think that they probably would have been better off if they just did several different shapes like this. Um, the squares doesn't really speak per model settings to me. It makes me think that, hey, you can... I, I guess I think of separate infills, so a little bit. Uh, and then you have the... This is an add-on button. So this is a support blocker. Um, I think because of the way that this is set up now you'll see that it is basically just the structure of the, the sideways square with supports built under it and then on the right hand there is an X that is very descriptive if you take into account the support icon which is this icon right here so it looks a lot like that icon except there's no X it's actually supported there uh, you'll notice the difference between that and the support icon here which kinda look like a little stair block underneath it kind of made sense. I, I feel like the new icon is definitely an improvement as well as the adhesion icon, a little bit more descriptive. Um, I don't know why there's an up arrow on, on this one. So uh, I feel like they did a good job on that. The only real difference here is that they centered the pattern so it's not off center. Um, so this, this there's a square basically in the middle and then lines through it and they made it really bold. Um, I kind of would have liked this one better if they hadn't have made it bold, but it's not a bad choice. Uh, and it definitely needed an update like the rest. Uh, one of the other things, one of the first things I noticed when I turned this on is this guy right here. So when I select the color here, let's see what else we got. I think I got some purple PVA in here. Um, it changes the icon color as well, which is really interesting. Uh, but very, very eye-catching and pretty cool. This is the old icon, uh, nothing special. I feel like the folder icon, while a little bit more retro than this 3D looking one here, uh, is a little bit better as well. So um, that is the gist of the main interface. You can see that these buttons became a little bit bolder and a little more pronounced, easier to see, but that's basically it. We can take a look inside the actual settings, um, and you can see that this is a... a, a this uh, settings thing here, this icon, makes a lot more sense than this one, for sure. Uh, basically, all they did was flip the quality icon upside down. Um, 
but the walls icon is a little bit more descriptive as well as the top and bottom. I think those both do a better job of showing what's going on. We already discussed the infill icon. Um, I think the material icon, this definitely looks like a spool with filament coming off of it, but this one is a, a little bit more clear about what it is. The speed has gone from looking like a clock, which kind of made sense, to a tachometer, which I think is a little bit more indicative of speed, which is what we're talking about. And then, as you can see, the travel became a little bit more defined. There's less breakup in that line, so you can tell it's just one. And then they hollowed out the, uh, the nozzle picture there, too, which is pretty cool. Fan got a little bit bolder and less blades, but I think that looks better. This kind of looked like a sun. So um, all in all, these are these are good improvements. We already went over the support. Uh, one of the other ones that I liked, okay, um, dual extrusion for one, it's showing two nozzle heads. Over here, it just showed that same mirror, um, which like I said, was distracting. They just used the mirror icon. Um, I like the special modes a lot that they put a star there because it is quite different from experimental. I used to get these two mixed up at a glance and now I don't anymore. Uh, and the experimental is also a little bit more uh, easy to see there. So um, that's basically the gist of what's going on here, guys. They updated a lot of things. The new UI is very, very pretty, but it is basically just those icon and button updates. So that's gonna be it for this video guys let me know how you feel about the new icons if there's anything you wish they hadn't changed anything you'd like to see them change back or anything that they haven't changed yet that you would like to see them improve on I'm always curious to know how you guys feel about these things if you haven't yet check out my new series uh, cure questions I answer your questions that people leave in the comments I'll answer pretty much any question I'll make you a video just leave it in the comment on one of my videos and I will find it eventually I'll put a link to that up at the top here you can grab that whole playlist and check it out some pretty interesting questions been asked in there already and I'm hoping to do a lot more of those if you're into the Kira 4.11 we are going to be doing a special video on the release of the full version just to make sure that we get the word out and everybody's seen it. I do want to mention one thing real quick um, and we'll probably do a bug fix video about this. If you bring a model in and then you alter the model, it's going to ask you if you want to up bring in the updated version. No matter what you click, it seems to be bugging where it just keeps asking you that over and over again. So I did file a bug report with Kira about that. Um, maybe it was just a one-time thing, uh, but we'll see. Uh, other than that, that's going to be it for this video, guys. We'll see you in the next one, and Techniverse out. Stick around guys, I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here, and if you haven't already, subscribe, 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 make sure that you smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one, Technivorous out.